Hello guys, this is Sarmad and welcome to this tutorial on biasing techniques for common source follower which is also known as common drain. Here I have drawn the configuration for the source follower where the input is applied at the gate and the output is sensed on the source terminal. Here RS is used to provide the path for the bias current to flow from VDD to the ground. Now we need to decide what to apply at the gate. So let me apply a VDD onto that gate terminal. So now we have VD, which is the drain voltage here, is equal to the gate voltage VG is equal to the VDD. Now let's see if the device is working in the saturation region or not. So for device to work in device to work in saturation region we know that VDS has to be greater than or equal to VGS minus VTH now if I rearrange these two terms I'll get VDG needs to be greater than or equal to minus VTH as sorry VDG now here VD and VG are equal to VDD therefore vdg is going to be equal to zero so we have this inequality and if i rearrange it i'll get vth is going to be greater than zero so in this case when we have connected the vdd to the gate terminal this condition is going to be there now as you can see that this is always going to happen so we can say that device is always in saturation region so let me tell this whole story in a different manner and that is we want if we want the device to operate in the saturation region then this condition needs to be true now plugging the values of all this stuff this condition turns out to be this condition that if you want the device to work in a saturation region you need to make sure that vth is always non-negative now as you are playing with the nmos device there the vth is going to be positive so this condition is always going to be true which which means that the device will always be in the saturation region so now that I have properly biased this device let me apply an input signal let's just say we have a mic connected to the gate terminal now I'm gonna see a problem on this node static and the problem is that mic signal is going to see an AC ground in a small signal model so however loud we speak over here the mic is always going to see an AC ground rather than seeing the MOSFET M1 so let me explain this thing in terms of small signal model to do that let me just redraw this figure and a small signal model as this so here we have the circuit and its small cell model here we can see that the input terminal of the mic is grounded and therefore at the output side we see nothing now this is not what we want we want to amplify this signal we want to get something here so what do we do well one of the solutions to this problem is to place a resistor rg between gate and the VDD so let's just do it here and see the impact of RG so we'll have RG connected between the gate and the AC ground this AC ground is because of the fact that we have VDD on that part of the RG now the question is what should be the value of this RG to find out let's just try to find the voltage gain for this 
circuitry. Now here I'm going to use a kind of practical model for mic where we have the voltage source as well as some input resistance of the mic. Let's label let's label this node voltage as VG. Now if I apply a KVL on this loop, what I'll get is that V1 is going to be equal to Vg minus V out. Remember that the V out is this. Now if I apply a KCL on this node, so apply KCL at this node, we observe that, that the current entering must be equal to the current leaving and the current that is entering into the node is equal to gmv1 and the current that is leaving the node is v out over rs now let's just plug in the value of v1 in this equation and i'll end up with gm vg minus v out equals to v out over rs and if I rearrange this equation for V out over V G, I'll end up with G M R S over 1 plus G M R S. So we need to see what that V G is equal to. So by looking at this circuit, we can observe that V G is equal to this drop on the gate, which is R G. And actually, I might need to remove this part because there is no connection of gate to the AC ground. So that part should, sorry, so that part should never be. So that part should never have been here. So now we want to find the VG and we can use a voltage divider on this node to do that and that is going to give us RG over RG plus R mic times V in because this is V in over here. Now if I put this value in this part of the equation, I'll get V out over V in equals to GM RS. 1 plus GMRS times RG over RG plus R mic. Remember before placing the RG in the circuitry that was the voltage gain for the source follower. Now that we have introduced RG this is going to be a new factor in the voltage gain calculation. Let's just call this factor as attenuation factor. The question is how can we reduce the effect of this attenuation? Well, we can reduce the attenuation factor if we increase RG to be very high as compared to R mic so that this term gets equal to RG and that RG cancels this RG out and we are left with approximately unity here. So we can say that therefore RG has to be very large as compared to R mic. Now for example if R mic is somewhere around 80 to 100 ohms then RG must be somewhere in the vicinity of 2 kilo ohms. So remember that this RG was this RG was uh, placed so that the mic does not see an AC ground, and then this RG must be very high number so that the signal of from the mic gets into to the MOSFET. So now one can ask if this addition of RG going to affect the bias 
current or the bias calculations well let's just apply a kvl over here and if i apply a kvl over here i see that there is going to be a no current no bias current flowing through the gate therefore there will be no drop on the rg and if i apply a kvl on this loop that is going to be equal to vdd equals to vgs which is the drop over here plus id rs and that is quite amazing so now we are left with only one more component to place and to make it easy for you to understand i'm going to replace this mic with a loop antenna so i'm going to replace this mic with a loop antenna so what is the problem here now well let's just say the antenna is not receiving anything at the moment and then we can observe that the voltage here which is vg is going to be shorted to the ground now that is going to cause a big problem for us because we want to turn this device on and for that vgs has to be greater than vth and if if this vg is zero then this is very difficult to happen so what is the solution the solution is that we can separate the dc level of this amplifier from the dc level of the antenna and how do we do it we just do it by placing a bypassing capacitor between the source or which is mic or let's just say antenna and the amplifier itself so if i redraw this figure properly this is what i should have i should have a capacitor here and then i should have a loop antenna or a mic and then ground it so now if that is the case then if there is no signal coming in the mic then what we can see is that vg which was there established by this configuration is going to be remain is going to remain there so yeah that is all from my side on the biasing of source forward so hope i see you in the next videos thank you for listening